he fits all the bad guy requirements. Like, really, truly. Not understand how sociopathic this is. Instead of sitting here and trying to resolve it, you're sitting here trying to farm a Kek W. You know, he buried himself. Like, that's it. So the guy has absolutely no problem shitting on someone's life if he had the opportunity. And I truly, truly believe that. You just view everyone as content farming. So Elo Santa cannot play victim here. Like, bro, like, there's literally, it's literally just a hate rate. Like, straight up, no other way around it. I truly believe if he had the opportunity to fuck someone's life over, I think that guy would take that opportunity in a heartbeat for fun. Over time, people have slowly but surely realized that Elo Santa's reputation has worsened. As a content creator who once enjoyed popularity, his reputation began to wither away and opinions about him would deteriorate. Some brand him as outright evil, while others see him as a pathological liar. But like every tale, even Elo Santa had a starting point, and the roots of his downfall can be traced back to 2022. Up until 2022, Elo Santa was no stranger to dating apps and has experimented with Tinder content, texting, talking, and also voice calling with girls he would match. Over the course of his Tinderisms, he would gain a lot of matches. There is no doubt that Tinder would inflate someone's ego, especially with the attention and validation you get from the opposite gender. And a good looking, but also a very tall guy like Elo Santa would have no issues racking up matches. And that's not the only thing, he was also high elo in League of Legends, easily gaining challenger on EUS multiple times with playing card as bot lane. This broken champion would also cause him to ult up during games simply because of how feasible it is with Karthus. This would become a meme commonly associated with him. Known at least to have an ego by this point, his ego would sprout during a a clash session with Elite 500, Dritted, Duanel, or Dantes, which will come more into play later, and as well as Sip of Cola TV, also known as Slathers. While Slathers deserves a video of his own, he is pretty much loved in the community, and as well as a huge meme. The comment section of the clash videos already can confirm that, but nevertheless, Elo Santa and Slathers would come into an argument as they were both playing bot lane together. Previous to this point, this clash team has been playing together for a while, but Slathers would want to play another lane than support, but nevertheless was forced, so to speak, to play support. As Dritted was top, Dantes was jungle, Elite 500 was mid lane, Elo Santa ADC, and Slathers would of course be then filling the support slot, although he voiced once of playing mid or jungle, even top if he could, to change it up a bit. Ultimately, he was put on a support and on a champion he doesn't like to play. This happened numerous times over the clash sessions that they all played together, basically being filled all the time. Towards the finals of the clash cup, where they actually played versus the guy who made the popular Elo Santa sub sound, if you are here Elo Santa, I will make sure I, I will end your career, okay? Elo Santa would eventually incite fake drama, already at 2 minutes into the game. Slaughters would call out the cheese by the enemy bot laners, while Elo Santa was disregarding this information by being occupied with a conversation and looking at the Twitch chat. Elo Santa would then go by stating that he's getting flamed by his support, and Slaughters would criticize him. I thought they were not on it when they like didn't hook Insta. Yeah, I think you could have reacted to If you are here, Elo Santa, I would make sure- Bro, my support's already flaming me, man. <laughs> I looked away to chat because I thought they won't hook me. Can we kill him? Can we just kill him? How does that connect? If you are here, you listen. What is that, man? More shenanigans happen at bot lane, and Slathers would eventually leave bot lane in favor of strong siding the other lanes as Il Santa wasn't focusing enough on the game, and the fact that the enemy jungle was camping bot lane. This would be a common thing where Il Santa was just not focusing on the game whatsoever, but rather than admitting this fact, Il Santa would rather flame Slathers and get very upset over Slathers because apparently he muted Il Santa. Why that is, I do not know, but it could be because of Il Santa giving bad calls that resulted in deaths for Slathers, the passive aggressiveness by Il Santa or Slaughters was just simply doing a harmless troll in the spur of the moment. Nevertheless, Elo Santa would get incredibly upset regarding this and go out of his way to flame and belittle Slaughters. He would later demand to forfeit the whole match because Slaughters is apparently trolling when he's playing a champion he doesn't know nor a role he's very good at. Even while the argument erupted, Slaughters would not go as far as Elo Santa went. Is the enemy disconnected or what? I'm confused. Are you DC or what? I'm so confused. Yo, Slaughters. Hello? You are not normal, I swear. Wait, were you hearing your Santa or no? No, I am muted. XD lol. Bro, I swear, why, why does the guy I'm just worried that if we 5-5 five five now and lose the game instantly, there'll be a what bit of a is that? Stop flaming your Papa, you little Tinder fanboy. Bro, I'm asking him to go sweeper, he's legit like diamond one back row, what? They're all bots. I mean, the, listen, Nami is just trolling, can we just go next? Nobody wants to win this. I don't know why this guy's throwing a tantrum, I tell him to go super, he's like, go full mute or what? That's so cringe. What is this? Why do you play the Clash if you like play like this? What a fucking baby. Our ADC is a bit delusional, guys. We need to focus. 
what the, that you're standing in mid AFK and I tell it to buy sweeper and you stand AFK because your ego is too big to listen to a call. Like, come on, man. Stop being a fucking baby. Is that why Israel died when you went to Nar? Yes, because you fucking go botlane for no reason. So I, I went botlane because Camille asked me to go botlane. Stop being retarded. I mean, you're just crying like a baby, man. Just listen to calls. You're the one crying. Like, right, what are you saying? I'm asking you, you to buy sweeper. I have sweeper. Yeah, but you're standing AFK mid lane for 20 minutes. I am following the Camille that asked me to follow her. I mean, Stop if like excusing. Go listen, back, if go you have platinum macro, just Blade listen to somebody button, higher. Like, I don't know, I'm trying to be nice, but like, you're just like so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm like trying to win, but I'm just getting... Oh, you're okay. trying to win. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this petty drama, so to say, would put a sore taste in Ego Santa's mouth. People would even start to name him Ego Santa from the Twitch chat. On to the next clash session, Ego Santa would not participate, but rather rat IRL. Following the clash session with Slaughters, Ego Santa would, according to some netizens, also badmouth Dantes, or name Duanel at this point. This could be said as the early starting point of the massive Ego Santa Dantes drama that would ensue. The Ego Santa the Dante's drama would span over many months and can be seen as a catalyst for the downfall of Ilo Santa and really showcase his true colors. And the drama can already be dated back to this clash session together. Ilo Santa would develop a grudge against Dante's, as this would be very evident 3 to 4 weeks after the clash session where they both got on a voice call together to talk about it. Basically, to give some context, Dante's would get a girlfriend back in late May, but a few days later, Ilo Santa and an acquaintance of his would find a mugshot of Dante's girlfriend, Alma Westwood, and subsequently, Blones would post it on Twitter. She she also had a criminal record with this accompanying mugshot which was possession of either drugs or a firearm. I tried to verify this information as it was posted by mugshotties, but I couldn't find it so either it has been removed, which is likely, or this is fake. I mean my source after all is Ilo Santa. Originally, Dantes didn't want to interact with him, but in the interest of resolving and making amends with Ilo Santa, he suggested to voice call. In this call, Dantes called out Ilo Santa on his trash talking over Twitter and his trash talking on stream. This would be such as Ilo Santa saying Dantes fell off and among other things. It was here where Ilo Santa stated that he thought Dantes was incredibly cringe regarding this rank 1 climb tweets and also accusing Dantes of calling him fake for giving his opinion on Dantes by calling him a diamond master player and Dantes is not someone Ilo Santa would watch for gameplay purposes. Dantes disregarded those statements as that was irrelevant to the conversation and Ilo Santa had a much bigger problem than that. So full of himself, Ilo Santa isn't self aware of the fact that he's using people for content. He doesn't view people as a person but rather as someone he can milk money off by providing content. No, no, so this is my problem with you as a person, right? You're sitting here and I have an issue with you as an individual, as a person. And instead of sitting here and trying to resolve it, you're sitting here trying to farm a CAC W or two in, my, in your fucking chat. I mean, I'm just saying like, how it is. No, 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 dude, this is your problem. Your problem is you will sit here and it's like, we have an issue, right? Where it's like, I say you're fake, you say I'm fake, whatever it might be. But we have an issue and then instead of trying to resolve it, you just sit here and you try to farm like CAC Ws. It's like, do you not understand how sociopathic this is like I'm a real human being, bro. I mean, what's there right? to resolve? Like you got mad? You 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 do realize that the video that you uploaded, I said, oh, it's like fake drama, whatever the fuck. No, I agree. I was. <laughs> Oh my god, it has nothing to do with the fucking gameplay. It's sitting there talking about how, oh, he fell off, oh, this, oh, that. Every stream, I'm getting three fucking messages, at least a stream. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm just giving my opinion, I'm speaking my mind. And you call me out for being fake when I speak my mind. This is your problem, is you just view everyone as content farming. You don't view anyone as an actual person. Why do you think I don't like you? Because you, a friend, is just what can get you furthest for your viewers. But the, what the, can be the, the, the you're, content, you're, how you can farm the best drama. It's disturbing. You're calling me out for using, like, what can I possibly gain by being your friend? What can I possibly gain from you? Exactly! What could I possibly get from you? Ilo Santa admits and confronts it himself. He's using people as he needs to get something from a friendship. Ilo Santa would obviously not respond to what Dantes was calling him out for, but was still insinuating that Dantes is a hard slug diamond master player. Dantes got annoyed by being branded as such and concluded the voice call by asking him to make a bet of 500 euros that he would end challenger in Europe by the end of June, which was about one month away. As time went on, Dantes would hit new peaks and post on Twitter. Hit a new peak today. I'm feeling confident, Ilo Santa. Are you? You said that you don't think I can hit Challenger no matter how much time I have, so I propose we raise the bet to 750 euros. Ilo Santa would respond to this, and Dantes would continue with his confidence by locking in a deal. While the first EU vest arc of Dantes needs its own story to tell, he had issues of having Hecarim banned in the vast majority of his games, and because he was an OTP, and he would eventually lose this bet and donate the 1000 euros to Ilo Santa with humble words. 
I'll get chal one day, just wasn't meant to be this month. Snack a Korean baddie for me, enjoy the rest of the trip. Damn! With a nice message as well. Now the drama would temporarily end here until part 2 would unveil almost exactly one month later. During 2022, Ilocenta was experiencing massive growth on his social media channels. Doing Tinder content together with IRL streams would give him a lot of content that could and would expand to a bigger audience than just the League of Legends audience. He would also collaborate with a female he met on Tinder which would garner a lot of attention because of a popular love arc, so to say, with this girl. He would gain a lot of views and followers on his social media channels by TikTok edits of him and the girl which resulted in nothing but good growth for him. However, one month after the 1000 euro bet, Dantas would proclaim that he was being cheated on by his girlfriend. As it was a public relationship, he felt the need to talk about it on stream to be transparent with his audience. Rather than having the hurtful memories being brought up throughout his streams, he would just be transparent by talking about it all in one go. Previous to the cheating scandal, Ilocenta would have warned Dantes about the character of Amu Westwood privately. That would be of her allegedly, allegedly tending to lie, being dishonest, her on and off boyfriend, cheating, and the lie. Dantes would appreciate the warning but disregarded them as he felt like Miss Westwood was moving on from her tough past. However, once this cheating scandal was revealed and Dantes streaming his reflections live, Ilocenta would of course take advantage of the situation by milking it for content. Ilocenta would watch Dantes' stream and laugh consistently at Dantes. He would present memes that his audience made to further enable the situation. He did channel point predictions on whether Dantes would cry live on camera or not? Open bets if he will cry or not. <laughs> not make a prediction. Will he cry or not? <laughs> and in addition, would later go into a Discord call with the guy that Dante's ex cheated with to laugh at Dante's together, all in the name of farming content. Ilusanta would prove this point further by uploading the Twitch VODs onto his YouTube fully and unedited in a two-part series. He would proceed to make multiple videos regarding the drama to milk it further and further. Dante's would even react to what Ilusanta did and Ilusanta made a reaction video to that reaction, continuing to make fun of Dante's. Now remember, this guy is a bigger streamer than Dante's at this point, so Dante's would suffer from targeted hate. Now we have already gone through a lot of this event, but Ilosanta has more to offer. Not only that, but Ilosanta thought it was a good idea to name his league account to face Amu Westwood to mock the situation but also gain a reaction from Dantes. He continued to try to get a reaction by talking about her on stream and also making YouTube videos with her name in it well after the cheating incident. Reactions he would get, and he still milked the content with more content, which sent more hate towards Dantes. Can you just imagine how that feels for Dantes? A lesser streamer is getting hate and people questioning him all sent in a targeted harassment campaign by Ilosanta. A bigger streamer, and if Dantes responds to it, then Ilsanda gets more content to milk. It's all a perfect concocted farming machine. Dantes would admit later that this was one of his darkest moments in his life, because just a month previous to this targeted harassment campaign by Ilosanda, Dantes would be admitted to the hospital due to heart issues which quite literally put him on death's door. It's hard to possibly imagine what he went through Ilosanda's head when doing this, as Dantes was recovering from his heart issues, dealing with his girlfriend cheating on him, and on top of that, he's dealing with targeted harassment that even if he attempts to respond to, he will be met with a perpetual cycle of continued drama. Money perhaps? But how could that justify this course of actions? That just seems like pure evil. His editor Billy would DM Dantes about the infamous two-part fully unedited videos where Ilosanta reacts to Dantes cheating stream. Those DMs stated that the videos did not make any money. The editor also threatened Dantes saying that he shouldn't attempt to copyright strike Ilosanta because you will violate YouTube terms of service and your YouTube channel could be deleted, brother. So the guy is not even making money off on this, yet he feels the need to have the videos up. And for what reason? To continue sending hate and harassment towards Dantes, to gain social media growth by making fun of him? Those are good questions, and Yasu would react to that drama, providing his thoughts on the matter. <laughs> I got cheated on a lurser off. Because this is what it comes down to, I know there are some of you who got cheated on. <laughs> and I know that there are some of you who are probably going through the same shit that I'm going through today, and hear me out when I tell you something. Like, see, the thing, this is the thing, is like, Ilo Santa's literally just laughing at messages in Dante's chat, which makes his viewers want to go to Dante's chat and say more fucked up shit to make him laugh, which is then obviously just kind of hate rating Dante. So, like, there's no playing victim here. Like, you just did something super fucked up, you know what I mean? Like, you just, there's literally, it's literally just a hate rate. Like, straight up, no other way around it. Whether you say, oh, it was just a joke, I was just memeing, I was laughing at something, like, you're, it's just a hate rate, bro. Your viewers are just- But you got banned. Be the love of my life. <laughs> you got banned. She ended up being a- f Why is he surprised? Like, how is this funny that he got banned? Like, no shit. 
Like, he's literally just making fun of him while he's as vulnerable. Like, oh, homie, I, you know, he, a band would be lucky. Like, oh, God, you know what I'm saying? Like, Apparently, this is the old. guy who cheated on the, his girlfriend with the ex. He got in a call with him, and they were both laughing at him. Cringe loser for watching this for, like, content. <laughs> like, bro, you're streaming this in front of, like, 2,000 people. I don't and understand, it because it's like, it's like a weird victim complex, though, Loki, because, like, he knows what he's doing, though. Yes. Like, he knows what he's, he's, like, stalling, you know what I mean? So I don't understand what he's doing. Like, he's just trying to milk, what like, I don't know. What do they mean he's stalling? I'm so confused, like... I, they're not making sense in the call. I think I understand why Dante's upset at the stream where he just made fun of him pretty much for like an hour and a half. I'm not, and I know I'm for not a even fact like that's some... shit talking him. I'm just like I don't. You can't say you're not you're not shit talking him when you're literally shit talking him, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you can't say no offense and then be offensive. It just it don't work like that. Now, while this was obviously the height of the Dante's Il Santa drama, it would not be the end of the drama. Il Santa and Dante's would continue to be throughout the later stages of 2022, and it would also end in the weirdest way by Il Santa. This would be known as the Twitter beefs. Towards the later stages of 2022, Dantes was on the rise in terms of his own content creation career. Ilosanta would continue to milk the drama regarding Dantes, posting various videos, name dropping Dantes, and Dantes would respond to this on Twitter in September asking what this is all about. Ilosanta, being the humble guy he is, stated his reasons for doing so. In October of 2022, drama and beef would start again. A viewer asked Dantes to snipe Ilosanta and Dantes would hit a gem towards him. Ilosanta would react to this by challenging him for another thousand dollar bet that he wouldn't hit Challenger EU West again. I'll gladly take your money two times in a row. Previous to this event, Dantes had stated that he has stopped making promises, as in one of his many arcs he has made promises that he has failed on. In a tweet longer by Dantes, he stated that he will not continue to do that. In his response to Ilosanta, he said that he'll pass, and instead just let the actions speak for themselves, telling him to enjoy the views from the sidelines. And so he would, as Dantes would almost surpass his rank in just 10 days of his EU West arc. And there, Ilosanta would again just make fun of Dantes by saying great my fit, posting Dantes in one of his well iconic outfits. Dantes would of course jab back by saying you screenshot my fits, I forget yours. Now this female that Ilosanta was making videos with would make a seemingly innocent post. The girl would take Ilosanta's side obviously and Dantes would respond by cementing that he finally reached higher Ilo than Ilosan. But Ilosanta's ego would have a say in this, as he said, my slums is in your pink, I think she's not your type anyway. Well, the response to this tweet isn't exactly YouTube friendly, because, well, I'll just leave it in the description if you're interested, but for those not interested, it was just a meme that allegedly looked like Dantes. The beef would continue on for a few more days where Dantes posted what I know the difference between us. Your teammates say Fwank. we have Ilosanta, enemy team says Fwank. they have Dantes. Started the day with 9 losses, ended the day up LP. Maybe if you started nofap instead of being addicted to Tinder, you could be capable of that too. Ilosanta wouldn't exactly respond to this, but the last bit of the drama here would end in a sinister way. Ilosanta was trying to raise up Andrea Botis, as is his usual doings, but Dantes would of course challenge Ilosanta for the risk. However, Ilosanta would in the most evil way post a screenshot of DMs between Dantes and a girl who was flirting with Dantes. In this second screenshot, it looks like Dantes is sending an unsolicited image of his needlessly large rod, but Ilosanta would be exposed to post a fake screenshot to tarnish Dantes image. In a future video, Dantes would allege that the girl DMing him was sent by Ilosanta himself, suggesting that he orchestrated this himself. All of this Twitter beef was the perfect revenge for Dantes, as Ilosanta's ego would be heard again and again, resorting to scumbag actions. He even got ratioed on each of these tweets, where Dantes was just keeping a fun but banter attitude. Ego Santa seemingly was upset and trying to actually incite fights. Their drama would take a break after this period, but Il Santa would still show his bad personality in other endeavors. Darkwing Jax is a small time streamer, and he's been in the League of Legends scene for a long time. He isn't known exactly for being a humble League player, but rather one of League of Legends' most toxic players. I mean, even Riot Games stated that as a fact. I have been fortunate enough to interview him regarding his dealings with Ilosanta. Darkwing Jax would be playing in higher Elos and would eventually meet Ilosanta in games from time to time. Here, Ilosanta would be flamed by Darkwing Jax, no surprise there, but for some reason, Ilosanta would start to defame him by accusing Darkwing Jax of engaging DDoS attacks towards Ilosanta. Now, this is a pretty serious accusation as Ilosanta is accusing him of cybercrime, but all Ilosanta has to say was that while being flamed from Darkwing Jax, his ping would spike. Wait. <laughs> now, now that, now that, see, see that little spike like there, right there? Guess what that was? That is Darkwing Jax trying to win his platinum promos. <laughs> you see that little spike right there? 
Dark Jax play me on stream? Bro, I could not care less. Dude, you know Darkman Jax? I had him in my game, and he was like completely pissing to me, and then he, he started DDoSing me, and then he blocked me on Twitter, but then like two months later, he came back to me and he said sorry for like all that shit, let's be friends. So I was like, okay, sure bro, whatever. But then we never talked ever again since then. Now a guy like Darkman Jax is pretty small compared to Ila Santa, and him having no platform to defend himself is not only hurtful, but also damaging. While Darkman Jax has flamed Ila Santa over a league game, there is no justification for such a serious allegation against a guy who cannot defend himself. Even Darkman Jax has attempted to solve this privately, but Ilo Santa left him on red, which makes this a frustrating case for Darkwin. Darkwin has connections with Dantes and asked if Dantes could ask Ilo Santa. Darkwin Jax would say that the result of that conversation was that Ilo Santa basically said that Darkwin Jax was known for DDoSing people, although there is no evidence regarding this whatsoever. Trying to resolve this matter privately has worked to no avail, as Ilo Santa would go radio silent on him. A guy like Darkwin Jax flaming people for seasons on end would have had people accusing him of DDoSing by that point, but such proof or third-party accusations has yet to be heard of. Nevertheless, Darkwing Jax's image has been damaged from this as people have come to his streams asking and talking about him DDoSing. His editor would also come to Darkwing Jax's stream accusing Darkwing Jax of wanting drama after Ilo Santa defamed Darkwing Jax by accusing him of DDoSing, which is kind of weird by the editor. Regardless of this, Ilo Santa would be contradicting himself with these accusations though. In a tweet by Darkwing Jax, he said that he would apologize for any unjust and ill remarks to anyone I've directed towards in or out of the game. Ilo Santa would be involved in this tweet by saying what? We are best friends, no beef here. Darkwing Jax would still apologize for his flaming and Ilo Santa would end it all by saying of course brother. This makes you really ponder, which one is it Ilo Santa? He has an issue of being a pathological liar as this isn't the only time he's been caught lying for his agenda. Ilo Santa would continue to beef with people on Twitter and this time in a very very petty fashion. Fast forward to 2023 where people hate on Ilo Santa for being a literal scumbag, a Twitter user by the name of Haroshi would make a distasteful joke about jumping Ilo Santa. Later that day he would get a message from Ilo Santa I can drop my address if you want to fight bad. And it gets progressively worse, as a video recording from the Twitter DMs would show that he accuses a Twitter user by the name Urkanite of liking young people very much. Now obviously Ilo Santa has no proof of this and continues to beef with the guy over Twitter, clearly having his ego hurt. Take this tweet for example. While it might be considered a funny tweet and the person in question who threatened Ilo Santa and got doxxed because of it probably deserved it, it again goes to show Ilo Santa's character. While Ilo Santa tried to distance himself from the act by blurring the person name, it wouldn't change much. Doing two wrongs doesn't make one right. It draws a similarity back to the Dante situation where Il Santa looked at memes and comments in Dante's chat, which in turn enabled and encouraged people to do that. It's the same case here which perpetuates a toxic cycle. There's a tons of better ways to go about this, but Il Santa has a tendency to not be better and then milk it for content. More drama would ensue in two stages of 2023, one already starting in the middle of January, where a viral TikTok regarding Il Santa was published, and this was published none other by Dantes. This would get over a million views, where someone in Dantes Twitch chat stated that Dantes reminds them of the NA version of Ilo Santa. However, Dantes would reminisce about what Ilo Santa has done to him so far, such as the targeted harassment campaign. This would go viral in the league community circle as the video popped off both on TikTok and YouTube shorts, and would also force Ilo Santa to make a quote unquote apology video because of hate. Firstly, he made a tweet longer where he stated that, I woke up to hundreds of messages that my family needs to die, and that I should unalive myself in game. Dantes has decided to use his newly blown up platform to send some hate. TLDR, I warned him that he's dating a cheater and he told me to mind my own business after he got cheated on. I watched his stream on my stream and he got upset because of it. I couldn't care less about the drama and to Dantes, bringing up old stuff to hate on people will only bite you in the ass. Hopefully people will remember your drama with sexually harassing Yvonne when I get a bigger platform. Oh, and don't post clueless posts about that you don't know why you aren't getting Twitch partner and he cites some links. Harassing Yvonne refers to some more drama regarding Dantes and a streamer Yvonne back in 2020 when Dantes was quite literally a nobody. I mean, look at his hair. During this time, he was quite immature, but nevertheless doesn't excuse his actions. He did get punished and very harshly from this event, which caused him to reflect upon his actions and make amends in a tweet longer, something that Il Santa has never grasped the concept of. Il Santa says he tried to resolve this in DMs but just feels resentment for what I did before and now that he's bigger, he's trying to get revenge, sub emoji. Dantes's TikTok editor Planty stated that it's crazy that you keep lying and doubling down instead of owning up and apologizing, where two screenshots show a conversation between Ilo Santa and Dantes. So now you start your revenge by sending your viewers to make me feel the same like you felt? What do you think it was like for Darkwing Jax when you accused him of DDoSing you and never backtracking when you knew you were in the wrong? It's not revenge. I never said I wanted to do the same to you, just that now you understand what it's like in the past for all the people you did to as well. 
out. And that's why I won't bother continuing it, because I know how it feels and I don't want to prolong it. Pointless conversation. You bring it up when you have more viewers, to bring me down even more. Il Santa would go on by still showing no remorse and lack of empathy. Oh yeah, I am victim carding? You say I make fun of you getting cheated on when I laugh about you, when you talk about that you wake up at 4.44am and Jin parts the clouds and tells you that she loves you? This of course would be another lie that thankfully is already uploaded by Il Santa. <laughs> I got cheated on. <laughs> She's like, no, no. Bro is eating from a dog's bowl on stream. I made the prediction. Yes, I'm just I gonna know. cry or not. <laughs> I would tell her goodnight, I love you, and then she'd stay up to tell him that she loved him <laughs> every night. Because at the end of the day, the person you fell in love with is not the one who cheated on you. I know you're watching my stream right now. Oh, really? And the fact that you're using this as content in front of 3,000 viewers is just disgusting. Oh, really? <laughs> what, man? You're streaming your fucking relationship so anyways, problems, so I'm just watching so. it. You still laugh at the situation. It's alright if you still find it amusing. I am over it anyways. I don't laugh at you getting cheated on, I laugh at you making a clown out of yourself. And Dantes ends it all by saying, I only damned you to tell you that I won't mention or bring it up again because it's pointless to keep dragging it any longer. Now this world screenshot reply would have a reaction from Ilo Santa where he stated, Planty, you were one stupid mother lover. I will tell you this straight up. Ilo Santa would also upload a video about his apology and it would not be received well. He would double down on his lies where he states, Call me an asshole, I'm an asshole for laughing at that, right? But I'm not laughing at what people think I'm laughing. Like, getting cheated on is, of course, like, like who, who, who would laugh at that? Like, you know, it's like, I would tell her good night, I love you, and then she'd stay up to tell him that she loved him. <laughs> Every night. I got cheated on! But his fully unedited videos says otherwise. Bro laughed and bullied someone at his lowest point and people are saying it's nothing? This is why the dude is a literal toothpick IRL. Il Santa are full damage control. Hope his channel and viewers decrease massively and people wake up and realize what kind of person he is. Goes to show you how much you actually care about solving this. Il Santa justifying why he laughed instead of apologizing. There's a difference between not liking someone and wanting to solve conflict. He's allowed to dislike or hold bitter feelings towards you, especially after everything that's happened, without publicly back you. He received a donation, said what he did, and it ended blowing up. He probably didn't realize that it would cause so much drama. With that being said, I hope things ultimately get better. His apology was also lacking. He did not mention his reason for betting on whether Dantes would cry or not, and he was beating around the subject of his targeted harassment. He also blamed Dantes for choosing Wu to date, rather than owning up to his own mistakes. Kicking on someone who's already down is something you shouldn't do towards human beings. That is, if you see them as such. Besides, Dantes having resentment against Ilo Santa is reasonable. I mean, what should he feel? if not resentment. Indifferent or happy that Ilo Santa did these things? Seemingly out of pure spite? Ilo Santa mentions that one of the reasons why he laughed was also because of how Dantes was memeing himself on stream. And that's basically how Dantes tends to be, making a clownery of himself, even on this cheating explanation stream. Nevertheless, laughing at someone who is going through a tough time can be incredibly disrespectful, regardless of that person's usual behavior. Instead of showing normal things like empathy and compassion, Ilo Santa thought it was better to mock him and make fun of his situation, and especially enabling his audience to do the same by laughing at memes and other mockery Ilo Santa's audience made. It just really shows the lack of respect, insensitivity, and lack of empathy that Ilo Santa had. Schadenfreude is what would describe Ilo Santa well. It's a German term that means deriving pleasure from someone else's misfortune. Drama would calm down, but Ilo Santa's reputation was practically ruined at this point. He deleted some YouTube videos in early January of 2023, but there was a general negative trend regarding the outfall of this drama in both his monthly subscriptions and as well as video views. And the same negative trend would be for his Twitch shell. But it wasn't until in the summer of 2023, during TwitchCon, it would be truly ruined. Both Dantes and Ilo Santa were participating in TwitchCon Paris, and in a bold move, Ilo Santa approached Dantes after asking his Twitch chat whether he should do it or not. Yo, do you know? Are you still mad at me? Like Are you still mad at me? I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say? He's, st he's still holding a grudge. Unfortunate. <laughs> The interaction was short-lived, but a day after, Ilo Santa's TikTok would post an edit of the situation, and this would cause Dantes to respond more harshly. After leaving the drama behind, Dantes would respond to this in a 7-minute video claiming to expose Ilo Santa. According to him, Ilo Santa stated that he wanted to squash beef by walking up, but Dantes knows better stating that I didn't want to do anything with him, and criticized Ilo Santa for making a TikTok with the caption Lil Bro is still mad. Dantes thought enough was enough, and if Ilo Santa is going to paint him as the bad guy, he would face consequences, which was where Dantes was 
was posting a lot of videos on various of his TikTok channels, exposing Ilo Santa for what he has done to show Dante's side of the story. Ilo Santa would double down though, and respond to comments on TikTok saying that he was trying to squash beef and as well as continuing his pathological lying and dishonesty. After Dante showed that Ilo Santa is a bad person that deflects everything, he showed a screenshot of Ilo Santa, and Dante stated that Ilo Santa thought we had e-cheating, and that makes it more funnier, which gives him the right to laugh at it. This is of course dishonest, because Dante did meet up with a girl several times, and that the ex met with his extended family, so qualifying it as e cheating is a pretty huge miss. The rest of the video are things you already know. Not only does Ilo Santa have a need to seek out drama, but he also likes to deflect blame and paint himself as the victim of drama he has instigated. Already back in the Slaughter's incident, he would just say, I simply told him to get sweepers, albeit he felt the need to trash talk him harshly. In the world Dante's drama lore, he would constantly deflect and victimize himself. In the initial $500 bet drama, Ilo Santa would deflect Dante's estate on Ilo Santa trash talking Dante's on stream. In the apology video and his tweet longer regarding the Dante's cheating incident, he would also victimize himself. The tweet longer says that Ilo Santa just watched his stream on my stream and he got upset because of it, which is certainly not told in bad faith, as he constantly laughed at him and belittled him throughout the stream. <laughs> I got cheated on! He would also attempt to deflect his actions by bringing up old drama regarding Dante's in 2020, and he would also paint himself as victim by stating, you can wish me a happy birthday or tell me to unalive myself in Minecraft if you are a Dante's fan. Obviously sending Il Santa death threats is a parasocial thing to do and not something he deserves, but the fact that he downplays his actions by attempting to emotionally blackmail people who read the tweet longer is scummy to do. Attempting to incite guilt and making people critical if Il Santa responsible for his emotional state is a futile attempt. Their replies to this post would seem to agree. How the hell are you downplaying that stream of you laughing at Dante's? That stream made you look so evil, bro. To be fair, I only became aware of the interaction yesterday and watched your full 1 hour and 30 minute video and honestly it was vile. I wish no harm to you, but you should remove that video mocking someone's heartbreak. You should never stand on someone while they're down. Death threat's wrong no matter where, but you say that like you warning him means you're okay to publicly humiliate him while he's already going through a rough time. The same sentiment would be echoed in his quote unquote apology video. The lack of empathy insensitivity and lack of respect from Ilo Santa shown in his apology video implies strongly that he is not to blame for his actions and people have misread the situation. He does this by providing context and telling the bigger picture, but not once did he apologize. He rather still painted the picture of his victimization by pointing out that he got hate and death threats. Ilo Santa is the one you should feel sorry for. Sure, people who do death threats are way overboard, but nevertheless this was not needed in an apology video. He would also accuse Dantes of being an asshole in this drama, and Dantes having resentment towards Ilo Santa is the reason why Ilo Santa is getting hate. <laughs> I mean, why would Dantes have resentment against Ilo Santa, right? Ilo Santa ended the video brushing it all off, stating that the day started off a bit weird. In 14 minutes of talking, Ilo Santa tried to justify his reasons for being a scumbag, didn't apologize once, and told the viewers to make decisions for yourself on who is in the wrong. Have you watched this whole thing or no? I, trust me, don't waste your time. This victimization gets even more funny and more contradicting, as during the TwitchCon Paris event, he was egged on after two minutes talking to his chat to walk up to Dantes to start more drama. I mean, this was initiated by Ilo Santa himself, and keep in mind that Dantes hasn't started anything or even mentioned him up to this point. So Ilo Santa walks up to him, Dantes brushes him off, and then Ilo Santa attacks Dantes' character of holding a grudge against him. He would then, of course, proceed to make content of that interaction by posting it on TikTok. Dantes fired back, as we know, and eventually Ilo Santa would play the victim again. Twitter would talk about this, and Ilo Santa would insert himself in a conversation by clearly showing no remorse and a lack of empathy, still thinking he is right. It was e-dating and she e-cheated on him after one month relationship to realize how funny it actually is given the context, sub emoji. And this happened one year ago, well played jumping on useless drama again laughing my ass off emoji. Yay Ilo Santa, he was e-dating when they met up four times. This guy is just out of touch, and the victimization wouldn't even stop there. He would post so much negativity, thank god it's only positive here, which was after the ensuing Dante's TwitchCon drama, and as well as the unhinged Twitter beef he had accusing a person of liking young people very much. And after posting that, he would in an ironic fashion have followers only mode on the stream. So much for positivity. The only architect of Ilo Santa's downfall is none but himself. His journey into deception and ego-driven actions began with his inflated ego which can be shown through the clash games with Slaughters and the subsequent drama with Dantes that marked the beginning of his downfall. Making a career out of hate and lies will not bode well. Ilo Santa's feud with Dantes escalated to a point where he engaged in targeted harassment, laughing at Dantes personal struggles and relationship issues for the sake of content. He continued to mock him even after Dantes faced serious health issues and emotional turmoil. This behavior showcased a complete lack of empathy and respect of others, especially 
when Il Santo would incite drama again and again. Even in his own words, he didn't see Dante as a person, but rather as a thing he can get something out. Moreover, Il Santo's involvement in baseless accusations of Dito's attacks against Darkwing Jacks showcased his willingness to harm someone's reputation without any evidence. He has consistently shown a tendency of disregard when accusing someone, which can lead to defamation, and has shown a complete disregard for the consequences of his actions on the lives and mental well-being of others. And the best part of it all? Even when faced with consequences of his actions and called out for his behavior, Il Santo demonstrated perfectly an inability to take responsibility for his mistakes. His attempts at an apology were lackluster at best and riddled with justifications for his harmful behavior. Even so, he has shown that he cannot grow to be a better person with the recent TwitchCon Paris incident, where he further exemplified his immaturity and the need for attention to stay relevant. Instead of leaving the past drama behind, he initiated and used the encounter for personal gain, further escalating the situation and bringing up drama that Dantes had put behind. As Dantes would say, you hate, I create. And in that, he would find great success, even when put down by a person of evil. If you did like the video, make sure to subscribe. I really want to do this full time, so it helps a lot. Oh, and leave a comment because I actually read those. If you didn't like the video, I thank you for watching.